The students sit down at their tables with the Boboxton students at the Ravenclaw table and Durmstrang at Slytherin, and the welcoming feast begins. Hagrid, Mudo Bagman, and Barty Crouch all arrive late. After the feast, Dumbledore announces that Bagman and Crouch, who helped organize the tournament, will also serve as judges alongside the three headmasters to evaluate the champions' performances. Dumbledore then announces that the three champions will be chosen by the Goblet of Fire, an enchanted artifact. Students must drop their names into the goblet, and the goblet chooses the most worthy entrance to compete in three dangerous tasks. Dumbledore finishes by stating the champions will be selected the following night during Halloween. On the way out, the Durmstrang headmaster Karkaroff gives Harry a look of displeasure before Moody forces him to move along. The goblet is placed in the Great Hall and an age line is drawn around the goblet to prevent underage students from submitting their names. The next day, predictably Fred and George attempt to cross the line through the use of an aging potion, but they are repelled by the line. The pair has to be sent to the hospital wing to have their long gray beards removed, much to everyone's amusement. While Dumbledore states that their beards are finer than those of the other students who tried to enter, that afternoon, Harry, Ron, and Hermione visit Hagrid at his cabin and find that he has gotten dressed up for Madame Maxime. He refuses Hermione's offer to join Spipu, pointing out that the house elves enjoy their work. That night, during the Halloween feast, the champions are announced, Victor Crumb, the seeker for the Bulgarian national Quidditch team, representing Durmstrang, Fleur Delacour, a beautiful girl Harry and Ron met the night before, representing Bo Boxtons, and Cedric Diggory of Hufflepuff, representing Hogwarts. Unexpectedly, a fourth name is thrown from the Goblet of Fire, Harry Potter, much to the surprise of everyone and dismay of some.